This is Deaconess Estelle coming from the Holy Tabernacle Church, Brockton, Judah Ministry, and this is the good news. This evening, my scripture will be coming from Ephesians 4, 31 and 32. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, had forgiven you. I won't be long. I just want to talk a little bit about forgiveness. Um, in today's society, we got a lot to be angry about. Uh, corona, Black Lives Matter. And sometimes we are not as forgiven as Maybe we should be. Why do you think we have such a hard time extending forgiveness to others? Perhaps one reason is that it doesn't seem right. Justice demands that there be repayment or punishment for wrongdoing. However, we are not the ones who have the authority to retaliate. When someone does something wrong to us, it can be hard to let that thing go and move on. But harboring frustrations on, on all or ill will towards someone else is actually just a punishment for ourselves. After all, when we don't forgive, we are the ones that feel some kind of way about that thing. This, attribute, this attitude plants bitterness in our heart which poisons us and defiles others. This attitude also hinders the sanctifying process in our life because we hold on to anger, resentment, or vengeance. Forgiveness doesn't necessarily mean that the person is not guilty of whatever wrong they may have done. Rather, forgiveness means letting go of the pain the incident is causing us. And by no means does it mean we forget. We forgive to give ourselves peace of mind and in hopes that one day someone will return the favor of forgiveness if we ever wrong them. Luke 6 and 37 reads as this. Judge not and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive and ye shall be forgiven. Paul encourages us to bless and do good to those who persecute us. We can never overcome the wrongs of the world with bad attitude and vengeful actions. For now, we must trust God and leave vengeance to him. Remember, we don't have to get revenge. We only have to follow instructions. It is said that to forgive is to love. And love covers a multitude of sins. We must take the time to forgive others. We must take the time to show love to one another. It can be difficult. I'll speak for myself. It is hard. But in order for us to live a righteous, a holy, Christian life, we must learn to forgive. Let me take this time to leave you with a few nuggets. God will handle those who have wronged us, for he does not let the guilty go unpunished. If we are mindful of our own behavior, we will reap the benefits. To forgive is an act of kindness that helps other people heal in God's light. And last but not least, forgiveness is a two-way street with him, meaning God. If we forgive others, we will be forgiven. This has been Deaconess Estelle with some good news. May God bless and keep you. Good night.